guys this is amazing so right now i'm streaming live from the unreal engine using this head mounted camera rig uh, from facegood and i'm using unreal engine 5.4 and what's really cool is that i have this meta human running live in the unreal engine this is not pre-rendered guys this is all running live this is real time in the unreal engine and that's the reason why i love the unreal engine guys so if you are a filmmaker if you are like a content creator and you're trying to make uh, like maybe youtube videos like this i think this is a great option for you to be able to use now it's a there's a professional version and there's also one that is uh, for a lower tier and uh, i think i mean this is to me the lightest head mounted camera rig that i've used in a long time and the cool thing is that see at the top here is where the cell phone is usually when we're using we're doing facial motion capture in the unreal engine to drive meta humans we have the camera right in front of us right here and you mount your iphone in like a camera rig similar maybe to this you could even have like a homemade one like the one that i made but what they've done with this is they've distributed the weight to the top so the cell phone the android this is actually an android phone it's not even an iphone so right now the android phone is running an app which is live drive and that app is sending the data from here it's getting the data from the d4 2024 stereo hmc cameras there are two of them and it's sending it to the app and that app is then streaming it into the unreal engine live and then i have the, the access studio streaming up for the unreal engine and it makes it possible for me to stream the body the full body of this motion capture suit that i'm wearing so that you can see my fingers moving and the body is moving so this is great for vtubing and it's very convincing and you can also use it for acting so if you want playing out a role i could record it in the tech recorder and then send it to the sequencer for final render right and they right now i'm using two computers so one computer is sending what you see in the unreal engine the screen and sending it to obs on this other screen that's how i'm able to record this video now there's a difference from what, what i'm doing i'm recording the video in obs so that i can create a youtube video but what you see right now is streaming live from the unreal engine yes this is not pre-rendered this is not meta human animator this is a seattle ai that is part of the live drive from face good and it, that's what makes it easy for me to be able to animate like one enunciate a bacha like, like that <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's really cool about this whole setup i've been looking for a way for me to stream live with a, a lightweight head mounted camera rig and also wireless this is completely wireless it's streaming is uh, using wi-fi into the computer my main computer and also then it, the data is being streamed into the unreal engine live isn't that amazing right and the settings in the Unreal Engine 5.4 right now, I have it at set to cinematic. So the machine that I'm running is from Puget Systems. It's a, a machine that was customized specifically for the Unreal Engine. So that's why I'm able to run. And I don't know, maybe let me see if I can actually turn on the frame rate. Let's go to show stats over here. Show frames per second. Okay. There we go. So right now, um, let me see, press G. Yeah. So it's running at, uh, let me see, 30 frames per second. Isn't that wild? 30 frames per second with a meta human, with mock-up data, full body mock-up data, with gloves, right? With the facial animation running. This is great for VTubing, guys. 
<laughs> I really think it's it's one of those things that you come across and you feel like, my gosh, this I finally managed to get something that I've been trying to achieve in a long time. And so I'd wanted to do this video earlier on, but I had so many other projects that were going on at the time. But um, rounding out 2024, I want to show to bring back this meta human. This is the Rastafarian or reggae meta human that I created for VTubing. So I think this is going to be a great way for me to create this type of content and uh, to be able to diversify the channel. So let me know, guys, what kind of topics you'd like me to address as this meta human. And also, if you would like to see more music related, if you want to see more narrative or filmmaking, like uh, short films featuring young Motweza here. So there are two versions of him. There's this older version. And then there's the younger met, young Motweza, <laughs> like before he was older. Yeah. So I found a way to be able to create some cool music. And so I want to be able to do that. But this makes it so much easier to be able to... Oops. <laughs> Good thing there's an encasement around that camera. <laughs> but this is awesome, guys. And I highly, highly recommend it. And one thing that I've learned from this setup, what using this setup is I need to like have like a, a focus point so that I don't look like I'm, my eyes are wandering, like, you know, that uncanny valley. So to be able to look you in the eye, well, I can't look you in two eyes, look you in the eye. I have to like look at the camera that's right in, in like on top of the monitor right here. And that way the eyes look a little bit. So even if I look over here and I'm thinking, hmm, and then I look back, there's always that point that I know I can focus on to be able to look at you. So if you're thinking of using this setup to like record for performance capture of an actor, remind them, like even if you point, like paint something on the wall over there, so that when they come back, there's somewhere for them to look at, right? So I'm over here thinking, man, AI is making life so difficult. Maybe we need to find a way to, you know, and then I come back and I look at that same spot. And then I wonder, my mind wanders, but my eyes come back and look at you. <laughs> you know, so that's the way to be able to use this type of system is that you can still be able to get rid of that uncanny valley by being able to focus. And don't forget to blink, by the way, because the metahumans, I think what someone had mentioned, why do the metahumans not blink? But this metahuman blinks. <laughs> I think it all comes down to acting. If you find someone who is a great actor, and I've actually been practicing because I I have to be able to tell a story, even if it's a tutorial, even if it's like a review, it has to be you have to be able to be convincing. Like, you know, look at you like that. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, again, I was showcasing the this video uh, that the streaming of the from the head mounted camera rig. Uh, head, this one is wireless. It uses an Android phone at the top. They've changed where you, you know, the weight distribution is, you don't have a, you don't need a counterweight because the phone is at the top, right? It's it's great. And then the, the uh, head mounted camera system itself is extremely lightweight. Like I'm, I can seriously do this without my neck hurting. I remember the one that I made some time back it had uh, like a couple of weights in the back here and I'd borrowed my wife's helmet, the bike helmet. And that was uh, difficult. After a while, my neck was hurting. I was like, oh my gosh. But this one, ah, my gosh, I can talk for days. <laughs> I think, well, no days, right? So anyway, guys, thank you so much again. My name is Solomon Jabba. If you're new to my channel, please spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And I think uh, there's a video that I did of how I do this whole setup, but I think I might do another update once they update the plugins for the Unreal Engine 5.5 because this is 5.4. 5.5 has already been officially released. So I don't want to be, you know, using 5.4. I, I want to take advantage of the mega lights, right? And all the new features that they've done in the, they've added in 5.5. And actually, They've just released the plugins for the Unreal, no, for the Unreal Live Link for iClone and also for Character Creator. So guys, don't forget to go and download that. And I hope to do another video showcasing that, right? A big thank you to Project Systems, making it possible for me to stream this live, right? And be able to 
stream it into the Unreal Engine. Thank you to the Noitom team, the Perception Neuron team that provided support for this motion capture suit right here. This is the Perception Neuron Studio suit. And of course, I want to say great, um, that I'm grateful to the Epic Games for the Unreal Engine because we're able to do this is amazing, guys. So don't forget, this is usable for acting, for VTubing. You can use it to create social media content, like maybe shorts and reels like that. So if you're thinking of how, how would I utilize this, I think on the higher end, if you have like a, a team of actors that you want to you're working with, then you probably need multiples of these because you want each of them to be able to play out their part and then be able for you to be able to see that. And if you're just by yourself at home and you are trying to create content, or if you want to take your MetaHuman and then stream the MetaHuman from the Unreal Engine into OBS and maybe stream live, then this is a good way for you to be able to do that and not suffer from neck pain, right? So again, um, I'm hoping that uh, in the new year, I'll be able to do a, a, a more in-depth tutorial about this. But uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Thank you so much for 2024 making it possible. I started the year with 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. And I'm ending the year at uh, 350,000 subscribers. I owe that all to you guys. I'm grateful to God for, the, uh, for life, being able to do this. And um, I'm promising myself not to, actually, I, I'm purposing to create more in 2025 and to share more short film. I really want to create more short films using the Unreal Engine. So if I see something out there that I feel is going to be beneficial to you on your filmmaking journey, I'll do my best to feature it. And then I'll be able to share with you the whole workflow of how I was able to achieve it. Thank you so much, guys. And so if you're wondering what the way the setup is, the motion capture suit right now, let me see if I can actually bring it up real quick. Uh, F11, uh, Shift F11. So you can actually see the setup over here in the Unreal Engine. And I'm going to bring up, yes. So this is what you see over here is Oh, let me see if I can show the character as well at the same time. So right there, can I show that? Yes. And maybe, hopefully you can see that. Anyways, so I have the upper body working. The fingers are working properly like that, right? And then the I have the head neuron on. I have the shoulders, but I don't have the legs on. Right, then that is good also for the for the body to not to drift. So if you're gonna do like a VTuber, I think this is like a great way to set up where you can see the full body, right? The upper body, the fingers moving nicely. These are the gloves that you see right here. This is a perception room studio gloves. And then of course the facial animation coming from the head mounted camera rig from face good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much face good uh, team uh this has been really really fun to work with and uh, i wanted to see if i can maybe uh let me see if i can do f11 and yes that's what i wanted to show you so you can see the full body let me see if I can scale this down a little bit. Okay, I think that works. All right, so you can see the full body. You see the fingers. This is all in real time, guys. Isn't that amazing? See you in the next video. <laughs>